Hello, it's got a ukulele back with an instrument for you. Um, it's an instrument from China, and after the shenanigans of the last week, I'm pleased to say it's an instrument from China that you can buy in a regular store as well as just buying it from Amazon. Um, yeah, not a good week last week. Uh, that instrument is from a brand called Sigma Guitars, and it, this is the Sigma SUM2S Soprano. Looks very like a Martin, doesn't it? There's a very good reason for that, because it's a Martin clone with a certain amount of provenance. Sigma used to be owned by Martin. They were a Japanese guitar company set up by Martin uh, in the 70s in order to stem the tide of the, uh, the rip-off Japanese guitars, which were very good quality and were doing Martin out of business. So how to, how to beat the clone is you become one yourself. So they set up Sigma Guitars, which made Martin guitars based on Martin blueprints. That logo even looks like a Martin logo. And that's because they were Martin. Things have changed. Sigma were then sold out and they stopped making them in Japan and they started making them in China. They're now owned by a German company. And a few years ago, that German company, under the name of Sigma, put out a range of three instruments, soprano, concert, tenor, based on original Martin blueprints of the Martin Style 2. So that's why it looks like a Martin, because it's actually got a provenance that Sigma actually were Martin. So, interesting actually. So it's a solid mahogany soprano, uh, it's a single piece top, single piece very slightly arched back, double two piece sides. It's, it's rich and brown. It's finished in a satin, which I'm afraid I think lets it down because it's really factory artificial. It's not rubbed, it's not oiled, it's not, not traditional. It's got that kind of dead flat, no grain structure to it that I don't like. It's the sort of thing you get on a Hana and Carla. There's nothing wrong with it. I just don't think it suits this sort of an instrument. And it's decorated with some cream edge binding, at top and back. And on the top, we also have some black, white, black purfling, black, white, black sound hole rosette, which is less stark looking than the Martin S1. Also very Martin-esque. That rosewood bridge with the slot that doesn't go all the way through side to side with a bone straight saddle, slotted bridge, very, very Martin-esque, uh, very, very nice, very, very neat and tidy, and it's very neat and tidy inside too, notched linings, delicate bracing. I love the fact that the Sigma logo is not on a label, but it is embossed uh, with a pyrographic stamp onto the wood on the back. I think that's really classy. We've got a single piece mahogany neck, which is really nice. It's got a really nice sort of vintage look to the, to the colouring on the satin. And that's topped with rosewood. It's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve standard for a soprano to the body. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, generous total. Nickel silver frets, uh, position markers at five, seven and ten facing out. Sorry, if you can see five, seven, and ten facing out, and also like Martin, they are repeated on the side with a couple of extra ones at the third, uh, twelfth, and fifteenth, which is nice. They're really dressed well, it's nice and dark, nothing wrong with that. Bone nut, obviously a Martin-shaped headstock, as I say, that Sigma logo, very similar to the the curved gold Martin logo. That is not a sticker, that's a transfer, but it's under the satin, it looks aged, it looks old. I think it looks lovely. Um, my first big gripe with it though, obviously they put friction pegs on it, I'm pleased to see that. These are the sort of friction pegs that give friction pegs a bad name. They are plastic on plastic friction, really cheap. Thankfully they are easily replaced. You'll be able to just simply pull these out and put Grover fours or Grover sixes in there it will look better, they will work better. Obviously, the ubiquitous, a queen of strings, and you also get padded gig bag, which is pretty much identical quality to the blue padded gig bag that, that come with uh, Martin S1s and Martin LXs now, so that's really nice quality. And these are gonna retail for about 225 pounds in the UK, maybe a bit more. Um, Interestingly, you're not going to see these in America, and I believe that's because Sigma, when they sold, put a restriction on the sale that they couldn't sell Sigma instruments in the US market. Um, so that's a shame. You're not going to get these in the USA, but you can't have everything. Um, but they are available in Europe and the UK at 225. 
It's a really traditional looking instrument. I think it looks great. Apart from, I just don't like that artificial finish. It's light, it's balanced, and it's really resonant. And I think it's probably gonna give exactly what you want from a mahogany soprano. Let's have a play. Yep, good volume, good punch, good staccato sound, bright. A bit rounder, more round than the S1. I do like it, I like it a lot. It's it's very playable. Yeah, it's it's very Martinesque. It's meant to be because it's got that heritage. Um, it's probably it's in that same category as things like the Ohana Martin clones, the Hamano Martin clone. Uh, I think it probably beats those a little, um, not hugely, but a bit. And it's not quite up there with the Martins, but then it's two hundred quid less than the Martins. Um, Sigma. SUM2S, also in concert and tenor scale, but I think this is the real traditional Martin copy. Uh, I think this is really nice. This this gets a recommendation. I think it's terrific, in fact. Uh, 225 quid. You can't really go wrong, can you? See you soon. More coming next week.